The most popular place inside the city of Buffalo, the vibrancy, the culture, the food, the breweries, the events, everything that's going on, and plus the brand new renovated Buffalo AKG right here inside of Elmwood Village. I'm about to take you guys through the whole Elmwood Avenue. I'm talking about we walking up the entire street, plus the real estate, whether you're renting or if you want to buy something in this beautiful area, Soldier Circle, so many different things that's going on right here inside this village because everybody talks about it. Everybody wants to know what's going on on and i'm about to show you guys right now and if you guys don't already know my name is Devonte davis the local realtor in and around the buffalo area so if you guys are moving up to the buffalo area or you're already in the buffalo area looking to move around possibly looking to move into the elmwood village area or any area around buffalo make sure you guys let us know with a call email text we are the ones that pick up the phone and we will respond asap as soon as we see it all right let's do it So as you guys can see, I mean, just walking up and down, there's so many different restaurants, cafes, fashion. I mean, people sitting outside. This is literally Elmwood at 11 a.m., you know, on any given day. When I'm shooting, this is about 11, 11.30. So this is how it is all day long. Now, you can imagine what it looks like after work or happy hour time when people are really out and about, especially on a weekend. So this is a really cool, cool place, man. I love Elmwood Avenue, even just to experience the city vibe. Come out here, whether you at the cafe, sit out, chill out, relax, drink coffee, people watch, whatever you want to do. This is definitely a great, great environment to do just that. And the Grace is actually a really, really popular kind of clothing fashion for more for women, though. And the Lexington Co-op, that's a popular grocery store that a lot of people go to. I mean, they have food section. Um, I mean, so many different things going on inside of Lexington Co-op. Now, just look how beautiful that tree line street is. Now this was literally a park, man. Can you imagine that years and years ago when they first built this? All of this right here was a park. Super dope. And people, deep 80s houses over here are magnificent, which I'll show you. Ooh, look at that one. I'll show you, one. this one is even better. Hold on, let me cross the street really fast. Make sure I don't get hit by it. Look, but look at that. This is literally a street. You got two innocent, look, look at me about to get hit by a car. Big old truck about to hit me. <laughs> but this is literally one big park system. As I just show you the entrance. Ooh, oh, look at, mm, that's a beauty right there. Like you, that is a beauty. That is a beauty. And we about to get into real estate a little bit. So this is like perfect. Let me go park over here at Soldier Circle and we about to get into everything. Soldier Circle. This place is awesome. It's really like an inverted Y, if you will, right? It goes between Bidwell and Chapin Parkway and links up at Lincoln Parkway. This is an entire park system. Frederick Law Olmsdale is the one who built this, constructed this, designed this whole thing. It was amazing. At one point, I imagine this entire place was one big grass field in a park. The houses, the tree-lined streets, everything you can think of, and still a walking distance right to Elmwood Avenue.
So this is Elmwood and Lafayette, right on the corner starting here at the church. Pretty cool that they got like a little playground off the church that, and that's uh, public too, so you can always go use that. Now we're coming up to JT's here. JT's is a really, really good restaurant. You can host events there. People done had bridal shower, showers there, uh, reception parties, all type of stuff. JT's is really, really good. And they have a great brunch special as well. So if you wanna go get a couple of mimosas, have a good time, maybe a nice, um, pizza again it's an urban Italian place so I mean it's real good you can see they have the uh, t two terrace there the one on the bottom level and one on above so it's indoor and outdoor seating really dope and above that or next to it are all brand new apartments basically so it's really really nice and you're right in the heart of Elmwood so you're almost like in the middle of Elmwood Village which is nice don't mind my friend here a little like he was enjoying himself when he found that, that bottle of champagne on the side. <laughs> Jim's Steakout is a very, very known place here. Um, it used to be a lot better years and years ago. Um, ETS is across the street. I call, personally, I wouldn't eat ETS or Jim's Steakout if I didn't have a couple already. That's just being honest. Some people like it though, sober. I don't, you know, if, if it's a late night and they open, that's when I'm going to ETS or Jim's Steakout. And even then, I'll probably eat try to find something else at the house before I eat that. It used to be good. It just, they went down. All right, so we're going to take a break from talking a little bit, and we're going to get some food because I'm hungry. Yeah, I know every time I do these vlogs, man, I wait till like 2, 3 o'clock to eat. I don't know why I do that, but either way it goes. We're about to go to India Gate. I always wanted to try this place out. I've never had it. Today is going to be the day. I'm going to take y'all. I'm going to let y'all know if I like it or not. It's probably good. I, it's like a thousand reviews on Yelp. This, the aesthetics in this place was awesome. I'm not gonna even lie. I mean, for my first time trying this out, I got the curry chicken, of course. I, you know, I had to play it safe. I didn't know how spicy it was gonna be, but it was good, I promise you. And then I got that side of naan, which was even better. I don't know if you ever had the naan bread, but it is good. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Naan, naan, naan. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It was good, nonetheless. I mean, I would definitely be back here for sure real estate right everybody wants to move over here for the houses in this area when i mean everybody wants to be in here is because you can't move in here <laughs> the hard part is because no homes go up for sale in 2022 alone there was only 32 single families that sold inside of elmwood village crazy right and it had a price tag to follow now you're looking at a decent home as far as four bedrooms two baths just under 3,000 square feet for the house that you can buy here the price tag though that comes along with it is looking in the range of about six hundred and twenty six thousand dollars just to be able to purchase inside the village now here is the really exciting part for a lot of people or it can be a little hesitancy when it comes to purchasing in this area the average age four houses built around here or the 32 homes that sold last year was 1900 the year not square footage the year 1900 so you're talking about 120 125 year old homes but you, i promise you you would never be able to know once you walk inside these homes you would it has the outside look and character of that 1900s 1910 feel but inside is 2023 all day long so that may push some of y'all like yes i love that that's what i'm looking for or you may be like hey i do want a basement and want to be able to finish one So we did just go over real estate a little bit. Um, this is kind of um, of a section of Elmwood where you have a lot of apartments. So for you guys that's looking to rent, you'll probably find one over kind of in this area. Um, the nice part is, is that again, it's still walkable. You can still access Elmwood, but you're a little bit farther away from those other um, amenities there so which is nice i mean nothing too crazy but all these are pretty much just lined apartments so if you were looking for living in elmwood village you would definitely be kind of like in this section right here
Now, as a lot of you guys seen as we was walking up and down Elmwood, what do you notice a lot of besides restaurants and bars? I already know that's what y'all looking for first. Now, second thing though, is shopping. Shopping, shopping, shopping. Elmwood Village is that spot that you can go to whether you're looking for clothes, sneakers, footwear. You have places like The Cellar, so you're gonna have more of like your street footwear, Jordans, Nikes, more of an urban style street clothing feel and footwear feel. But they do have some higher end things too as well. You also have half and half. And then for a lot of my fellas that like to dress up, like myself suit and ties every day baby you also have bureau which is a really nice high-end men's fashion and you can get a bespoke suit from there too as well i mean tailor right down to your muscle which is super nice so you have not only can you go get some to eat but on a saturday afternoon sunday morning where you really want to get some clothing shopping done elmwood is a space that you have to try out and not only is it locally owned but it's locally owned like you know what i'm saying it's small businesses that's operating and moving and grooving inside the village which is super super dope All right, let's get into some pros and cons of living in a village. Now, the number one, as always, you know, we gotta start with the pros. Pro one, walkability, lively culture. That's like all tied into one, right? The culture and the walkability inside of Elmwood Village is really unmatched when it comes to inside the city. I can assure you guys, like you really cannot get a more vibe fueled culture buffalo feel than inside the village it's always going to be something going on it's always going to be something to do always some place to eat and some restaurant some brewery some spot on a <laughs> on the ave is always going to have something going on there's always events playing right there's always going to be people down there some things to do down there is like the elmwood art festival you have different things going on inside or around just delaware park itself so live Liveliness, walkability, especially if you live in around Soldier Circle, if you live in just off Main Street, you can easily walk to Lexington Co-op. You can walk, go have a good time at night and walk back safely to your house. Now, one of the reasons why it's so walkable and that's something that is a hindrance is because parking sucks, especially on Elmwood, right? If you're not living inside a house, right, and you don't have a parking pad, which you may or may not find uh when you talk about animal villages because the houses are so close together in some parts unless you live in and you know pretty comfortable parking sucks renting once you guys are renting inside the village yes it's a great place to be yes it's a spot that you want to rent in but as you're renting just know you ain't like you're gonna find a parking spot right in front of your house i can assure you that you're gonna walk to your house because parking sucks think about it if it's doubles all along the street or you have a single family that may be renting out room by room to college kids because bus state is just up the street you have what two four cars per apartment it's two apartments in a multifamily, you know what I'm saying? If you, especially if you got mostly doubles inside of Elmwood. So those are some things that you guys gotta think about when it comes to Elmwood Village. It's lively, yes, but because there's so many people, and when you leave in the morning, that parking spot is not gonna be there once you get back. For you guys that's looking to purchase, you're going to get one of the biggest houses around, I, I can assure you. Any house in Elmwood Village was built, was built with the intention of being one of the biggest and best on the block. So once you guys are purchasing, especially if you're inside that range, when it comes to that 500 to about 700,000, if you guys are in that price point, I will look inside the village, especially for your those of you who still like to go out, wanna be around young professionals and other people that's moving and grooving and still like that city life, you guys really wanna think about that. That's one of the greatest areas and one of the greatest things about the Elmwood Village area and you have to park so you have that kind of comfortability have that green space so you're inside the city but it feel like a suburb inside the city if that makes sense but you're centrally located enough to get anywhere around the city that's a lot of pros right there all right now let's get into some cons or really some bad right it's expensive to live inside of Elmwood 
hands down. I just told y'all the price point of a lot of this real estate. Hey, I just told y'all the price point of a lot of this real estate, right? R rent ain't no different. You looking for a two bedroom maybe inside of Elmwood Village? 1500 on a low end on a low low end you may be looking around 1300 but it's not gonna be fixed up the way you like if you something want if you want something brand new if you look at 451 party uh party on elmwood we just literally walk right past that you're looking at easy 2675 starting off starting price, and that's for like a one bedroom so there is a lot going on but you're gonna pay to be inside that amenity of the a lot going on. You're in the city, right? So you're gonna have what I like to call inner city problems. As you guys seen when we was walking up and down Elmwood, you're gonna have some of everybody on Elmwood. From the homeless man, to the million dollar man, to the everyday person man. You're going to have some of everybody when it comes to Elmwood and the people that just surrounds the entire village. And it's a place again, everybody comes to, especially on a weekend or a nice beautiful day like today. I mean, what, it's 84 degrees outside and it's 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. Everybody and their mama going to be down here on a Thursday, Friday, and Saturday afternoon. So those are some pros and cons. Those are some things. But Elmwood, nonetheless, is a super dope place to be i promise you guys like you really can't go wrong with living down here especially if you can afford it and if you can buy something like that i would snatch it up asap That is one thing you will have a lot in Elmwood Village is a lot of people's gardens. Now, they do have an Elmwood Garden Walk. I can't remember exactly when that is, but you'll notice a lot of people, especially as you're walking up and down the street. Um, I'm walking up Ashland right now. Gardens are big, especially in the front of people's houses. It's pretty dope. Like, cause everybody has their own taste. Everybody has that kind of unique. And then you have a community garden every now and again in a couple of different areas. So that is another cool thing about Elmo Village for sure. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. But most importantly, if you guys are moving up or you're already in a Buffalo area looking to move around, make sure you guys hit me up with that call, email, text. And as always, I will see you guys inside the next one.